the run. Let's Madden, game two out of six at Pizza Hut Stadium today. This is Group C, a really interesting group. And we'll get to Lil Man, Justin Barone, who actually grew up a Cowboys fan in New York. He says just to be different. And I believe that fully. Now he'll go out as the Patriots here and try to tweak everybody in that New York, New Jersey area. And he's got that Colton Miller nasty streak, the secure protector as well. Joe pulled with that the other day, and that went great. Sayers tripped up, though, right away. Mm, if you're getting that kind of penetration on your defensive line to shoot that kind of gap and tackle in the backfield, that's going to be huge. But I have to point out something. If you look at the top, somewhere that we've missed, Little Man has burnt a timeout without a play even being called. I don't know what was going on with an audible hmm. or something like that, but let's keep track later in this half if he's going to miss that timeout. One thing you've really taught me, Skimbo, the more I get into Madden is whether it's clock management, the timeouts, I mean, all those things that just seem like nerd ball, a lot of times you get to the fourth quarter, they're huge. <clears throat> they're absolutely huge. As you see, Little Man's just going to audible through a bunch of formations, do a bunch of motioning. He's going to just try to find run that work, and this might pop off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gale Sayers with a zigzag. Gale Sayers still going. Oh, Serpentining man. downfield. He's oh, going to get all the way past the 25. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, that's just such a saving tackle on a touchdown. Clutch players got back. Little man with great stick, making a miss, hitting the right gap. Great call. Clef knows that run play worked. He's going to have to make a little adjustment. He can't give up big plays like that. The Kansas Comet. And I tell you, if you've been watching the games all week and you're not a guy that remembers, or a girl that remembers Gale Sayers, I know it's before pretty much everybody's time. He's before my time, and I'm like 100. But it's worth a trip to Mr. Google to, to look at what Gale Sayers was all about. He's been a huge player for a lot of teams here. There's a belt right at the line of scrimmage on Sayers. It'll bring up a second and ten. It's, it's funny you say that because I'll be honest, and I'm probably going to get kind of a little bit of heat for this, but some of these players, man, if it wasn't for Ultimate Team, these old school players, I would have no idea who they were or when they played or even what position. That's that's honestly the best thing I feel about Madden Ultimate Team when it just comes to the content. You get to learn about all these players from the past that you really didn't know about. No, it's a library come to life for you. That's one of the things I love, too, as a bit of a historian and nerd. Sayers gets lowered in the backfield here. That's a great read by Reed. Ed Reed, the nine-time Pro Bowler. Right, great play. And when you're a runner only, this is where it really helps being Clef. He's one-dimensional. You know he's not going to pass the ball. I don't believe he has any good wide receivers out there. It's just that running back. He's going to take his time. He's going to call a run. But if you're a runner, you'll take threes all day. Just remember Jay Mills yesterday. He wants a 3-0, 6-0 game. These runners, they love that style. They'll take the pop-off run, but anytime they get three, it's a win. Hasn't always been this way with Little Man. We've seen him use more of a Harrison, for example, before. But this time he spent nothing on his wide receivers. He's got Laquan Treadwell as probably his best guy. So, yeah, he's going to run it. He's going to take his three and hope that the defense stands tall. Right, and as you see, Little Man, before he kicks this field goal, he's audibly or doing his depth chart changes. He's making sure he's putting a, his running back at a punt um, up, man, so he could fake it. That's something to look for down the road. I doubt he does that. Clef's pretty prepared. As it gets to 3 nothing, I got to run this stat out for you here, Skimbo. And I, I'm not a guy that's going to try to stat you to death. But we've seen 13 games so far, right? I mean, it's 26 total players. We have seen single-digit final scores on 13 of those 26 possibilities. We've seen three winners in single digits already. So as we go back and take a look at your Snickers replay, this was one big play that set it all up. Just a great play. You know, that sticky, sticky by that Snickers. But, man, it was just a really good game. It's just a saving touchdown tackle by Clef. Very fortunate that he only gave up three instead of seven. Watching Denzel Ward, it was like watching somebody trying to navigate along a ship in choppy waters, just kind of listing to the left and to the right and back and forth. But that's what that stick can do for you, and Little Man is one of the best. Now we're going to check out his defense. 
Yeah, as you're going to see in competitive Madden, this is what we do. We're going to take a delay game. It's going to be declined. People want to set up their audibles. That's a gentleman's agreement. I really like it. But I want to touch on something earlier, uh, Josh. This is why Madden players, we really tweet a lot about uh, NFL. I don't know if we can be NFL coaches or college or high school coaches, but something we're used to is clock management, saving our timeouts. And the fact, like I've said earlier, that little man's already wasted a timeout, I really feel that might come back to bite him. Of course, if you're really brand new to Madden, the one thing you, you've got to know from the historical standpoint is that Madden is John Madden. That was one of the great coaches for an entire decade, and he's still well alive, lives in Austin, Minnesota now. He's in his mid-80s. Michael Vick. Oh, and a good look there to Torrey Holt for the first down. Good scouting by Clef. It looked like maybe a questionable read. He knows that Shazier doesn't have that lurker ability. If Little Man would have invested and put lurker on that Shazier, he would have went up there and snagged it out of the air for a pick. And again, the way the meta is, everybody now paying attention to defense as well. A lot of low scoring Madden lately. As Vic will scramble for the first down sticks. And Skimbo, not to put words in your mouth, because you're a guy that I know can, can light it up 30 point, 40 point games. But it seems like both of us now, we're getting kind of cool with the fact that we're watching defense. We're watching that side of the ball. Hey, I mean, you just got to adjust with every man in play. Not only, not only us competitive players, but also when you're in the booth and you broadcast, you got to accept for what it is. It's a defensive game. You got to embrace it, and you really got to give credit to the guys that find a way to move the ball in offense. I mean, I'm watching Ryan Shazier right now and his positioning more than I'm watching that gun bunch on the right. As Vic looking, will fire, and a fingertip catch. Torrey Holt on that sideline. Unbelievable pocket. Clefts looked really good this first drive. He's scrambling when he needs to, when he doesn't see a spy, when he knows there's a spy, he's staying in that pocket strong. He's got routes that are really good for zone beaters and man beaters. Clefts looking very, very comfortable. One thing about Clef, his pops is an offensive coordinator at Delanda High School just outside of Tampa. Pops goes by Snap. That's uh, Snap Wood, and I'm sure he's peeking in right now so the son of an offensive coordinator you'd think that Clef the God would have a little bit of offensive minded IQ and here he goes with Michael Vick with the pocket collapsing Michael Vick is down there's that Jerome Baker card animating that's a great card to have yeah, it is. And great coverage by Little Man. Everyone was pretty much back. It looked like a post route was about to get open. Then all of a sudden, with those great cornerbacks, those 99-speed cornerbacks, when, it, when you give them enough time, they're going to run that route for those wide receivers. End of the first quarter. And we should mention that the coaching apple hasn't rolled too far from the tree for Clef because until recently, Clef was the running backs coach at New Smyrna Beach High School, the Barracudas, where Raheem Mostert, went to high school. In fact, right around the same time that Clef was there. They're only three years apart from each other. So it's a little bit weird that Clef likes to put it to the air so much when he's been in charge of a very good running game for a great high school program. Michael Vick is sandwiched down. He goes. Great, great job by Little Man to send heat. But getting back on Clef, Clef's a baller, man. I've, I've been outside with him playing hoops at tournaments. He can play football, basketball. It really doesn't matter. Clef is a, 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 I know we get labeled as guys that sit at home and play video games, but he is one of the most athletic guys I've seen, and I've played with some good high school guys. He is very athletic, just going off Madden. Played at Fullerton College and Benedictine College, and now he's on the sticks with Vic, who's going to slide forward, and at least it's a little bit easier now on 4th and 10 than it would have been on 4th and 23. Right, great job getting those yards back, right? So he can be able to kick this field goal and get it right back on serve. But something I want to point out with this Madden that people need to understand, in years past, after drives like that, after you see him nail that field goal, in years past, this would still be in the first quarter. There's this new runoff this year, and you're running off clock be without even trying to. This That was just the first drive for each, and we're already in the second quarter. And look for Little Man for this to be his last drive, the last drive of the half. Lil Man, who's best friends with Joke, who won Group A. Now, Clef destroyed Joke, what was it, 24 to 3 in the Madden Challenge semifinals. So maybe Lil Man gets revenge by the associative property if he can take down Clef here this afternoon. 
Yeah, and only if you knew, Josh, the rivalry that I see at tournaments of all the trash talking that goes on. Trust me, Clef really wants to get this win. Get out! Come on! For a variety of reasons, and you, you hear him. I mean, you might not even need to mic him up to be able to hear him. This is a loud player. <laughs> Yeah, little man, I mean, he's been around forever. <laughs> if you know anything about him, you know he's loud. But he really, when you try talking to him, don't don't think he's ignoring you. He really just can't hear you at times. But uh, you just have to get to know the little guy because honestly, he's he's a good, he, he's not a bad person. He's actually a good person. But yes, he is a, he is a trash talker. Trash talking cap master who is trying to go forward here in his seventh EA major appearance. He's number 17 on the all time money list. He's the defending a Colts club champion, was a Rams runner-up the year before. So he's always, as we mentioned, Skimbo, he's kind of the electron circling the, the periphery here. He's, he's very rarely in a final, but he's in a lot of quarterfinals and semifinals and just waiting for that, that big chance here in Madden Bowl 20. Oh, man, what yeah. a hit right there on Sayers. Stuff by Sayers. Clef's coming up big. He's slapping. He knows he needs to get off the field. More than likely, if he tackles him for no gain, Little Man's going to punt. I, this is a huge, huge down because he doesn't have a quarterback to try to put in there. He's got to stop the run here. Mm -hmm. He stops the run here. Oh, man. And a guy, again, that's known for his offensive mind, the son of an offensive coordinator and a very valued one. It's about the defense in Madden these days. It really is. And I'm going to say this. Clef's pump, and he should be. You're going to start seeing more emotion as the game goes on. You see the clap, and I'm telling you, this guy is a star. All he is missing is a belt. But it's the same with Little Man. He's a star on his own. He's made so many, so many tournaments, so many runs, and just without a belt, it really does kill him. But back to what I was saying, even though Little Man punted, he's in a good position as a defensive player. You don't mind this with all the cap you have on defense. He's fine with Clef in this spot. It's a, honestly a win kind of for both. You know Little Man would like to score. But as long as he didn't turn the ball over and he, had, he gave the ball back to Clef in, you know, deep field position. Just shy of the two-minute warning. And, buddy, you and I have now combined to call three touchdowns in our last five broadcasts. It is a field goal festival. And this one's no exception, but there's Vic. Michael Vic scissoring upfield. And just past the two-minute warning, that's a great play. If you're playing Madden Ultimate Team at home, I would I would love for you guys. This is salary cap. You guys can say you've used these abilities, but when it comes to salary cap, we have to make sure this lineup is perfect. So he is spending ability cap that he feels he must have. So he has that hot route master to do any routes. You see Little Man waste another timeout, which only leaves him with one now. But he has this Michael Vick that can be a pocket passer with all these hot route masters. He can do any, any you know, combination he wants. But right there you saw he still has that escape artist, and he can get out of the pocket at any time. It's funny because Michael Vick with a career passer rating of about 80 is such a valuable guy in Madden. He goes to the sidelines. I mean, we're talking about a guy who's got a passer rating behind Jeff Hostetler and Blake Bortles for his career skimbo, but he's the card you want in Madden. He is. He's, you know, every year you want this guy. Every time Madden comes out and you play Ultimate Team, you just wait. When is Vick coming out? Michael Vick rolling out. And Michael Vick will fire it out of bounds in a 3-3 game here in the second quarter. That was really good defense by Little Man. He's running. He just ran a match concept again. I've said it before. It's when guys drop in zone, but if a wide receiver runs in front of their face, they're going to match on knowing that's the only wide receiver in that direction. And right there, everything was just bagged. Game one, if you missed it, went to Noah 27 7 over Scheman. We are 3 3 right here on a third and 10 for Clef the God. Dwayne Wood is Clef's real name, by the way, from the Need It gaming crew. And with that, Michael Vick. He's looking, buying time, open field. Into Shazir, who plows him down. Uh, if you play Madden, if you play Madden any year, and especially this year, that was risky taking that hit. That that ball could have came out, and with Michael Vick on the ground and no one else really to catch up, if he would have scooped it up, it would have been six. Clef actually just caught a break that Michael Vick hung onto that ball. Hold that R1 hard, or you'll you'll fumble here, especially if Shazir is going to whack you like that. And now Dar will punt it down. 
And Dion. He'll swivel out past the 25-yard line. So Lil Man's got to feel good here, right? I mean, I know he's burned a couple timeouts, Skimbo, but he's got about 90 seconds to work with. Hey, I mean, he feels good. It's a tight game. I believe Clef, Clef gets ball at half, you know. I, I'm sure being a runner, he would love to have that timeout to be able to call it, you know, if his uh, running back got tired. He, he would love to have that timeout back. But right now, you're in a pretty good position. you really got to go try to get three. But Clef has all three timeouts. So if he stops them three times in a row, I'll be curious if Clef's going to get greedy and burn his timeouts. Gale Sayers, after the little hesitation, gets lowered. That's Franco Harris blocking for him, by the way. That's quite the backfield of Franco Harris and Gale Sayers. On the run-heavy look from Lil Man yet again. And, and you see it. Clef just burnt the timeout. He wants this ball back. Now, I hope this doesn't come back to bite him. It probably won't because Little Man would have had three or four runs anyways. But Clef really wants this ball back. He wants it right here. He cannot give up a first down. He's trying to get off the field to give his offense one more chance before half. This feels like the kind of game where a giveaway might really tell the tale. Boy, another big hit right there. That's Ed Reed bursting in. Of course, you're unlikely to turn it over if you're a little man because of running. Yeah, but I want to go back to that play. That's all user. That's all user by Clef. He shot the gap, went around, just tackled him in the backfield. Little man, you know, you're just, he's just a runner. He's not going to do things stupid here. He's going to put the ball on the ground. But here's the thing about running. It might look safe at any time this run can pop off for a touchdown. Yes, that man. won't be the time because, once again, Ed Reed with a hip check. It's fourth and 11, and Clef, out of timeouts, remember, is at least going to get the ball back and a shot at the very least to get up 6-3. to three. Right, as you see this punt right down the middle, I'll be curious to see where it goes because he didn't have a punt return team out there. Oh, Denzel Ward after a little bit of wiggling around. And, and Denzel Ward, by the way, is a, a great Madden player. He might actually be watching the stream right now. Shout out to a very talented young Cleveland Brown. Now here is Clef the God who loves those Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's down in that... Uh, Tampa Bay, Orlando area. Mentioned his dad at Deland High School, which is closer to Orlando. And Volusia County is where Dwayne Wood is kicking it these days. New Smyrna Beach High School, we talked about that. And now Michael Vick from deep in his own territory. Again, no timeouts. Off the edge, can't get to Vick, who whistles one to Torrey Holt. That's a good way to get to 20 yards. Great job. Had a corner route concept with the backside pose. Had a crossing route. That's some of the best man beater plays in the game. And little man was coming out and man and sent heat. This is, but this is what I'm saying. If you're a passer, you can get into some trouble right here because if you if you're a runner in this position, you're just gonna run the ball. Get if you get it, it's fine. If you don't, you know, you just get tackled. With a passer, if you make a bad read, this could get scary. But look for Clef to be very smart. Stepping into that throw, and it's Josh Cribbs who will come back and get it, staying in bounds so the clock is running. Got to get it to the other, what do you figure, 38-yard line or so to, to try to hit that field goal. He's got Zane Gonzalez, or excuse me, it's Sam Ficken that uh, the Clef is rolling with here at kicker. Michael Vick. Oh, oh this is he might have him. Looking for Cribbs. Overthrow him. I have to, I have to say it. I have to say it, Josh. And I know, I know, my guy Clef is thinking this. He doesn't have the dashing dead eye ability on his Michael Vick. If he had dashing dead eye, Josh, he makes that throw every time. He decided to go without it, and it just cost him seven points. I can't stress enough how important sevens are. That's gotta hurt. Knowing there's an ability in the game to make sure you can, you make that throw every time. He doesn't have it. Now he has to look at a third and four what a great point by you because he piled Vic high with other abilities right he's got agile extender he's got escape artist hot route master identifier but the one thing he needed you're right that that club was not in his back and he desperately needed it right uh. there it is third and four oh it's just it's just crazy as he's gonna have to hurry up and snap the ball he has yeah! him and throw it again does he have him this fire! time? Josh Krebs! Come on, It man. is a touchdown for Clef the God! 
Golly, Josh. I swear these guys say, Skim, we hear you say stuff and criticize us. How about well, the next play? I show you I don't need move. tashing, and I throw Keep another laser for a touchdown. That. Great job That's by high. Clef. Little man really brought the heat. Man-to-man -man press. Clef rolled out. May time. Got a touchdown. That thing just parachuted down into the waiting arms of Joshua Cribs. And on the return, it'll get to the 30-yard line. So there's our first touchdown, and it was a keeper. This one going 59 yards. Oh, this little man in that man press. His corner actually got rubbed off by the other wide receiver running that route. Just beautiful Me! five. Look at the emotion coming. You know when you get touchdowns in Madden versus a runner only with that defense, you love it. Gail Sayers, though, with a little giddy up, out of timeouts, dragged down, like and that'll do it. We are like at a halftime, and the one big play went the way of Clef the Guy. 59 yards to the former Kent State Golden Flash. Josh Cribbs flashing his way into the end zone, and a 10 3 score. Clef about to get the ball again, two skim. Yeah, but this is what I'm talking about. This is where it kind of hurts. Even though Clef looked amazing, he's looked absolutely amazing on offense. He is a passer. He doesn't have a running back. He's going to continue passing the ball. It's going to be hard for him to chew it. And this is a happy man right now. The 24-year-old Dwayne Wood will take a swig of water. Got that seven-point halftime lead. And little man again. That defense really was fantastic for much of the half. But right at the end, it, it ran out on him. So, as we get ready now to get to the third quarter, we invite you to head to the Madden Competitive Gaming Channel on your YouTube for access to each and every match from the Madden NFL 20 Bowl. Make sure to subscribe as we update throughout the week during group play here. The Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube Channel, the official home for VODs of all the best matches throughout the year. That's the Madden Competitive Gaming Channel on YouTube, where Madden Competitive lives. And our match schedule, Lil Man and Noah coming up. Noah just had that 27-7 thrashing of Schemen. Ran wild with his Bo Jackson. Then it's Schemen and Clef the God will have the dual play. Games 5 and 6 will run simultaneously. And Clef the God, we talked about this earlier. Very underreported, I think, Skimbo, but he's ahead of you in terms of win percentage. He's at 81%. All right. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I mean, every time he makes a live event, I feel like he makes a run. And that's kind of what you see here, you know. And in the last couple tournaments he's been in, he's always just right there. Like I said, he just hasn't won a belt. But I want to get back to something. Just because I can't call Noah's games, i got to say I loved his little special he had. I see his pitching. You know, I'm a little baseball coach out here. I see the mechanics. I like the mechanics. You coached well. I love the special they had on you. I, I, I honestly, I was a fan of that special that they showed. I thought that that might speak to your baseball pitching days for sure. That was very well done. Here's a defense well done as Michael Vick goes down. And it's going to bring up a second and 18. Yeah, you just hear little man. He's like, why did I give up the deep bomb, bro? That's just how he talks. But it's true. He got so greedy at the end of half, and it just didn't work for him. But I, I really... I, it's just tough because Clef's so good. So as soon as you think you have defense for him, Clef normally just mixes it up and finds something. Trying to add to that 10-3 lead. Pocket collapsing. Vic will fire it out of bounds. That, that is, that's, that's great defense. That's great match defense by Little Man. I mean, the, the corners, the, the DBs were literally running the routes for his wide receivers. It's like they knew where they were going to go. That's perfect defense. Little man is still talking here, trying to dial up another big defensive play to get the ball back. Down seven points now because of that long one to Joshua Cribbs right near the end of the first half. Got Kellen Winslow as a You're tight end, part of the three. Yeah, taking that play clock all the way down. Here is Vic. He can run it. But he had a lot of real estate to cover. So this is interesting now. On fourth and eight, do you do anything other than punt it away? You punt the ball. Your run defense has been outstanding. But this is what I'm going to get into. I talk about I'm going to mention it probably for the last time in this game about can Madden players be NFL coaches. Look, 
The game style there, he just called three plays and barely took up a minute. It starts at five. It's going to be about 340 when he punts the ball. You know, he didn't take up a lot of time. However, that's the thing. When you're a passer, you just, you just, you're not good at chewing the clock. So, little man, this is perfect for him. You're on defense and you got off the field in under two minutes and you get the ball back. This is the perfect, great job. It puts little man in a great spot to make a play, to make something happen right here. Little man has actually spent quite a bit on special teams, we should point out. And I don't know if that comes into play now, if his punt will get out of bounds, for example, but that's Deion Sanders, yeah, who watches it get away. Most guys will spend one or two percent of their cap on special teams. Old man, the only guy that was closer to five, making sure he had the good punter, the good returner. He's got Zane Gonzalez, a kicker. That's, that's what you see a lot of those runners only do. They want to have the best special teams because they know it's so hard. You know, even though it's hard for their opponents to move the ball, if you play someone with good run defense like Clef has shown, it's hard for you to run the ball. So look for little men to keep audibly around, flipping formations, motioning, to find a run that'll work. While still pounding away with Gail Sayers, who remember did break one for a 42-yard dash. Other than that, it's kind of one or two or no gain. But all you need right now, if you're little man, is one of those 40-somethings, right? And you're right in business. That's, and, the, and he might break one. A ooh, big tackle Close, right, right there. But that's the thing about, yeah, but that's the thing about runners. That's how they feel. All I need is one breakaway. That's all I need. I got a 99-speed running back. All I need is one run to pop off. That's all I need. Just one. That's how bad it's been all year. You can stop him. You can stop him. You can stop him. But it only takes one run to get to the house. Oh, and that was almost it right there. He got the first down. We used to talk about that, Skimbo, when I announced the uh, the Chargers games when they were in San Diego. With Danny and Tomlinson, they just pound away, pound away. You tenderize the steak, right? And then finally, fourth quarter, something like that, you pop that 175-yard biggie, the jackpot, and that's all you need. And that's the story, and you see Clef, he calls a timeout. I actually like that timeout. If you feel like there's a run that's about to be a game-changing touchdown and tie the game, you got to burn it right there. You have the lead. It's not like you're down and you're going to need to save him. You have the lead. You can't give up anything stupid right there. But exactly, that. if you've been keeping up with Madden 20, you'd know that's just how it is this year. It just takes one run to pop off. That one went backwards, but again, there's plenty of time to go here. About two minutes left in the third quarter. And Little Man, we should also point out, I think, Skim has built a nice old line. He's got Armistead and McDaniel. He's got Mack, Shields, Lane Johnson, Colton Miller. He's got Joe Thomas as a tight end. Yeah, he's got a lot of beef out there. As he's, oh, there you go. There you go. You tenderize that steak. You finally get it to the grill. You're in the house. It's a touchdown! Yeah, it's a touchdown. Oh my gosh, it's exactly what I'm talking about. You, you, you look, Clef, you got great run defense, great run defense. Little man changes it up, has a different motion with a different stretch, a run that, you know, Clef hasn't seen. He had the quarterback kind of have a delay handoff, and he just found a little wiggle room. Now we saw a 59-yard pass play to Josh Cribbs for the touchdown for Clef. And now a big, long run from Gale Sayers to knock this thing up 10-10, getting late in the third quarter. And a 6'5", 255, Kellen Winslow, not much of a return man. But as we go back to the replay, this one for 61 yards. Uh, Clef, Clef was there, over pursuit. Great job by Little Man, just cutting straight up. You see him hit that RB, they think it makes you run faster. Why not do it? It looks a little cool while you're at it. You know, it's funny, Lil' Man, in last year's tournament, he was passing the ball, and the picks killed him. He threw nine picks, including five in one game against Drini. He's not throwing the ball at all now. And he is 10-10 with Clef the God coming hot. Michael Vick escapes. Michael Vick somehow wiggling free, and look at this. Michael Vick first down. So here we go. We talked about how he doesn't have that dashing dead eye ability, right? But I also mentioned he added the agile extender. As you saw, a DB came home right there. He shook it off and made him play. Instead of losing five or six yards on a sack, he ended up getting it about 20 to 30 yards off a broken play. Great job, great use of your cap right there. And because if that's not for a team building, which some of these guys are the best in the world at, if it wasn't for great team building, that play does not happen. Two veteran players, Lil Man and Clef the God, heading towards the fourth quarter here tied at 10. 
And a much more competitive game than our first one today where Noah got it done. Vic is thrown down here. Taylor May is charging hard. Come on! All right, I'm going to throw a pro tip. I'm sure little man Ian B going to get mad at me. But if I'm just going to say it because, you know, I, I get paid to do this, baby. So look, if you don't like that agile extender working, you put a secure tackler on a blitz, he's going to wrap up. All right? That's what he did right there. Taylor Mays, look at him. He's in that slot coming in. He wraps up and brings him down. You're not breaking that on that play. Come on! And there's another come on, sack. Come on. Once again, Lil come Man on. comes on come in on. and throws down a quarterback. Little Dwight Freeney right there. One more! Come on! Right. I'm going to give Little Man's credit before this third down. You talked about last year how he just, you know, passed the ball through picks. This is why Little Man's a great player. He'll play one mat and just pass, pass, pass. Look at him adjust to this game, even though it might be a little easier, people would say, to run the ball, and I get that. But he still adjusted. He found out, hey, I don't need to be stubborn to keep passing the ball. I really like how this run only works with that great defense. And that's what he's done. Look at him. Here he is in the last term of the year looking pretty good. Vic again getting harassed, and once again down he goes. It's not Freeney this time. Got to point out that Dwight Freeney one sacked Michael Vick five times in a college game, Syracuse at Virginia Tech. But this time, it looks like the other side with Jerome Baker forcing the punt. Little man is one of the best in the world, as you see a all right punt, probably to the 40. But man, little man just dialed in pressure two times in a row. That's just great defense, great feel for the game by little man, understanding Clef was comfortable in the beginning when you were dropping in coverage. He sent some heat right there, got home. Now he has the ball. He's in a really good spot. Gail Sayers turning the corner, and Sayers churns for that first down. Adrian Amos knocks him down, but move those chains. The Kansas Comet with close to 160 yards rushing for Lil Man. Five uh, Josh, I'm a little upset with myself. I really pride myself on being a pretty smart Madden player. Normally, I always know what the wind is. I wish I knew what the wind was right now. I'm trying to calculate how many more yards he needs for that Zane Gonzalez to get in field goal range. I believe without win, it's about the chat can help me out. I want to see some numbers. I believe it's about 45. You know, he can boot one from about 62 yards. I'm real curious how far he needs to get. Well, if you're right about the 45, he's on it right now. So just don't take a sack. Don't do anything stupid, right? And at the very least, you chew more clock, you go up 13 to 10. Be smart. Right, and, 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 and you hear little man, be smart, don't lose yards, be smart. I need to get a field goal here. My defense does look good. But if you're Clef, you understand, you can't give up another yard. If you give up another yard, Clef, uh, little man is in field goal range. This is where you really have to dig deep, and this is where you're going to see a lot of competitive spirit probably come out of Clef. Great one here at Pizza Hut Stadium. Thank you so much for joining us. Group C play today, and Sayers barging forward. I think they're going to give him the 42-yard line. So on third and three now, if you don't go backwards, Kimbo, I think you're okay for the field goal, right? I, well, it just depends. What's the wind? Is it blowing against you seven miles per hour? If it is, then you can't make it. Like I said, I'm... I'm I'm really disappointed that I that I can't remember. We're going to see if he doesn't get the first down right here. This is, this is a huge play. Yeah, it might be a moot point thinking about the wind if you can convert on third and three. He's got Sayers and he's got Franco Harris. Here's Sayers. And look at that bears. He's looking end zone. Kansas Comet across the sky into the end zone touchdown. Finish. That's just it. Pound, pound. Pound. I'm gonna keep pounding it and eventually I'm gonna break one free that is that hurts if you're cleft because you had guys there but that's why you spend so much cap on a Gale, Sa Gale Sayers to just wiggle through and get a touchdown you know he only played five years in the NFL to Gale Sayers because of injuries but he left his mark and he's leaving his mark in this tournament. I think we might remember that name, Gail Sayers, really across this entire week and next week as well. 17 to 10 for Lil Man as we check the replay. As you see, Gail Sayers, Gail Sayers was wrapped up, broke a tackle, everyone over pursued it. No one else there. You're not going to catch him. He's too fast. He's just, it's just too good of a card. You're not catching up to that. Little man told me over the phone a couple days ago, if I score 21, I win every time in this tournament because my defense is coming through. Maybe all he needs is 17. Let's see, 3.13 to go. Michael Vick 
We'll just turn it upfield. First down for Clef, although a big hit. I'm curious. I'm really curious how Little Man's going to play defense this drive. He had a lot of success running a zone blitz, really sending the heat. He only sent four. I, I'm going to look for him to really send some heat right here. And Skimbo, not the golden ticket Michael Vick here, right? He had to get him loaded up with abilities. Yeah, I mean, this Michael Vick, I mean, he's the only card that can get that. Looking. He's in trouble. Vick is thrown down yet again by Bay or that's uh, Clark, Frank Clark with that set. It's that power specialist I was talking about, that Frank Clark. He's going to get home eventually. It might take a little bit, but eventually he's going to wake up and make a play for you. Oh, more plays being made this time. Von Miller, Super Bowl 50 MVP. You see it. You see Little Man right now. He's pumped. If you're Clef, you got to think of a route concept. You got to think of something. You don't have to get it all here. But there are plays, that obviously, in this man with passing, you can get it. But the last thing you can do is take a sack, and he only has two timeouts, so he's definitely going to go for it on fourth down. He's got Ross, he's got Cribs, he's got Holtz, he's got some really good receivers. Same receivers group as Pavan, who did very well the other day. Can he find one of them? He slings it in there to Torrey Holt right just, at the yellow stripe. It just, oh boy, fourth and one. Fourth and one, here we go. This is it. This is the game, guys. If he doesn't get this, this is pretty much a wrap. You, this is your best play. This is your money play. This is what, when you lab with your boys that you lab with, and it's for pride, this is what you got to come up with. What route concept, what, what play is he about to run? This, this is for a, this is huge. Oh, it looks like he might run the ball. With Kellen Winslow, and he's going to bang his way forward. He needed one. I think they're going to give him two. It's first and ten. Ooh, there is defense for that run play to shoot that gap. He caught little man not there in that gap to fill. He quick snapped it and got it. I'm telling you guys, that's a risky play. It paid off. Now he's back in that shotgun bunch. Still two timeouts at the disposal for Clef the God. He is right at the midfield line and needs the touchdown. Vic about to get smashed and down he goes. Great defense by Little Man. Everything guarded. Great timeout by Clef. Deep breath. He's looking for a corner route to get out of bounds. Obviously, there's something over the middle. He's going to take it, but he's really looking for, for to just get something out of bounds. Cribs has been in the end zone on a long one already. Can Vic find anybody now? No, sir. Out of bounds. Third and 12. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. You got to be careful, even though he called timeout. He only has three wide receivers on his team, you know. He doesn't have backups, so this is the last drive. You're running out of timeouts. His players are about to get tired. He's got every play counts. I know, obviously, too, but every play counts. You, these wide receivers are about to get gas. He's got to come up with it, obviously, with the time situation and all that. But it's just this is just so huge. Flips it to Gun Bunch right, and now Holt will motion out of that. Doesn't need to get all 12 right here, right, because it's obviously fourth down territory. If you get eight and bring up fourth and four, and then you got to play you like, that's okay too. Yeah, you, you like that, and I like the timeout by Little Man. He, he had a motion over, didn't like his defense. You're up. That's a great timeout. Let's get my defense set up on the biggest play so far of the game. Looking at New England against Tampa Bay. Tom Brady giving us a little wink if he's watching in. We appreciate you guys watching. In a 17-10 game, Michael Vick looking, getting rushed. Can he get rid of it? He'll boogie upfield. Michael Vick, some green grass first down. He's so bad. Uh, you, look, I mean, that pocket was unbelievable by Clef. Nothing was open. Stood in the pocket, stood in the pocket. Little man got greedy. He sent his spy to go get the quarterback. Couldn't get there. Clef made someone miss. Great job. This is, a, this is what I'm talking about, guys. He's really good at these drives. Out of timeout, so he can't take a sack. He'll get sidelines. Ooh, he needed to get out of bounds. And he barely got out of bounds. He did. Oh, my gosh. I've played so much Madden. They could have easily said he was in bounds right there. Clef, he could have took a guest pass right there because Little Man was using two routes with one user. He could have took a risk, but it's a great job by getting out of bounds. Samuel stays in the block. Vic looking to put it to the air. As we get to 30 seconds left, he's got to chuck it away. We're down to 32 seconds left, and it's 29 yards away for Clef. 
Great defense by Little Man. Clutch is trying to put something together. He's trying to find some kind of route combination that's going to get someone open because these DBs are just running their routes for him. He's trying to figure out, as user said, he is a surgeon. He's going to try to dial something up and try to find something as he has his bunch on the short side for one of the first times all game. Noah swinging a bat in the on-deck circle. He's next for Little Man. Will he get there with a win or with a devastating loss? Right now it's 17 to 10. 30 seconds to go. Michael Vick takes the sack. This is it. This is it, Josh. This is it. This is going to be the last play of the game. Needing it in the coverage. It's taken away. Little man found the camera. Shocker. A 17 to 10 win for Little man. Great defense, great game by Little Man. He had those runs pop up, but man, that's just great defense. Clef was uncomfortable that second half on offense. Let's go, man! But Clef did some good things at times. He had that big time end of the half yeah. bomb to Josh Cribbs. There was.